Who am I? Well, on the official record, my name is Kyle Brooks. But I don't know who I am anymore. I make art and Black Cat Tips is the art name. My whole life I lived around Atlanta. I always wanted to leave. Like I went to Alaska for a while, I went to Tennessee. I always wanted to go out west. I've been out there a few times. But let's face it, I'm a country talking, long beard, storytelling man. I guess you get the ingredients. I always had ingredients. And then all of a sudden, a few things came together. Maybe your mental status degrades a little and the economy did something to your livelihood and um, you had somebody encourage you. Maybe you were blessed with some ideas all of a sudden. And this kind of came together like a well, thunderstorm or a big biscuit. <laughs> I want to go back one second and tell you about the biscuit. Because I was like a biscuit house. And it's like fluffy with a fluffy biscuit sofa and a bed. And if you get really hungry, you can just take a chunk out of the wall. That's what I would like. And it have stairs going up to it. I've got some bigger goals, some stuff I'm trying to concentrate on. I feel like the goals are at the top of the tree. And I'm going up and, 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 and the, the key is to focus. And you think that's where you're supposed to go. But then these branches come out, like this man wanted me to paint his table, or this guy showed up with a good proposal, you know? Oh, let me go at this limb a minute. So I don't know where you end up. Maybe the goal's out of limb. Maybe that's the top of the tree. I'm trying to learn and be smart with uh, what life throws at you. Maria, my wife, she helped me focus on this path. I haven't wanted to give up, but I've thought a few times, you know, can I make this work or is this the right thing to do? So she, she helped me say yes, do that more. If it pops in my head, a lot of times I'll write it down. Like the one behind me says magic pants. I just thought of that so I wrote it. The one up there is about having a good day or, or you know, funny little weird stuff. Maybe they don't make that much sense, but they're kind of funny. People always like to laugh at them. Usually I've got another project I'm supposed to be doing. And so when paint's drying, or oh, I can't just work on that all the time, you know. So I've got something laying around, I start making it. That, and a lot of times that's where a good thing will come from, that little space in between other stuff. Um, yeah, and then I'll just pile them up in the truck. I either have a spot I want them, or I just happen to see somewhere it'll work. But I was right on Boulevard up on a ladder, I got down and realized I had done it backwards, called Mom Your. And it was an accident. And then I, that gave me the idea to make more of them and switch them up and do them backwards. That was a true screw up, but I think that's why I can keep on doing it because it just keeps changing. Same paint, same brushes, occasionally different material you paint on, but like I've painted on like somebody's van. <laughs> like this is their van. Like, you sure you want me to paint on your van? Right from the start, I like get really worked up about the materials or the right way to do it, and then you get into it like any project and get comfortable with it, and then you're okay. Or they come out to watch you, and then it's like, oh man, because I don't want to screw your car up. <laughs> I could paint on this piece of wood that costs five dollars, but this is a fifteen thousand dollar van, you know. I enjoy the challenge, although I think sometimes I might have a breakdown trying to adapt to it. Nerves get the best of you. I want to get to the point where things don't affect me like that, but maybe it's just, it's just me. Just cycles, you know? And so I come up with a bunch of good stuff and I'm loving it. And then other days I'm just having a fit. I guess enjoy it while we can right now, whether it's somebody or painting a project or, you don't know, I might not have another one, you know? We're all a bunch of animals and we might end up in a mouse trap tomorrow, so. I don't, I don't know, that sounds kind of fatalistic, but I think it's true. And it, it makes you do better stuff right now. I had somebody one time right on the back of my painting and talk about me preaching, and I don't preach, but that sounded almost like a preaching. <laughs> I 
I think I'd be a bad preacher though. Although I would like to punch a podium now and then. I don't like that. <laughs>